into the final half inning. We head to the bottom of the ninth. The Aggies leading by one. More than 5,000 here in College Field standing and singing the Aggie War Hymn in unison. They would like to finish it off right here, and it will be up to Scott Sintala, who came on to get a big strikeout to end it in the bottom of the eighth inning. And it's resting on his shoulders. Texas will send up John Prather. Correction, we'll have a pinch hitter, Jeff Schultz. The pinch hitting for Prather will be Jeff Schultz, a left-handed senior out of San Antonio, Texas. He went to Howard Junior College, 5'7", 150-pounder, and he's leading it off. For Cliff Gustafson, Bill Bethay, and the Texas Longhorns. Here we go. Looked like he wanted the bunt, took it for a strike call. center field Kirk Thompson calling everybody off and he's got it for the first out so Jeff Schultz flies out to center field Kirk Thompson has made nine catches in this game tonight a busy man in center field and the Aggies are now two outs away from the Southwest Conference Tournament Championship Lance Jones will be the hitter for Texas Jones walked in the first doubled in the second Grounded out and flight out. So he is one for three tonight, officially. A very pesky hitter for Texas, and a strike call. 58 walks on the season for Jones. He has a good eye, but Centala is throwing strikes. Yes, strike two, big breaking curveball. high and it's one and two on Lance Jones David Tollison is on deck her ball missing high and the count goes to two and two well Jones would like to hit his way on but he'll take a base on balls anything to set the table for Tollison and Bryant the Aggie dugout Pacing nervously. They don't want to come back tomorrow. Two and two pitch. And the count goes full to three and two. The rally caps for Texas. Two pitch. Again, Thompson has to go back, but he's got the beat on it for out number two. Kurt Thompson with his tenth put out of the night. And that leaves it up to David Tollison and Bill Little. What's it sound like down on the field? Well, you can tell the response from the Aggie fans here as they anticipate. They have seen this team through a great season here at Olsen Field. The conference championship trophy for the tournament is something that they would like to take with them as they head into a regional. And obviously taking it over Texas would be a big one for them as well. Tolleson will go down to talk to Bill Bethay. 
What do you suppose this conversation's about, Bill? Well, you really probably hear Bethay is just settling him down, saying, just do your job, look for a good pitch, and get on base. Tollison has made as good a contact as any Longhorn in the tournament. Had seven hits coming into tonight's ball game and hit the ball all the way to the center field wall in the fifth inning. He got over anxious in the seventh when he popped up to the catcher. Centala with a curve ball outside ball one. Now remember, as Bill noted, Tollison has fly deep to center field. He has the power. He's hit seven home runs this year. Scott Bryant is on deck. So I would imagine that what Bill Bethay said to Tollison, try to get on base any way you can. Outside corner, one and one, the count. We'll let the crowd tell you about it. away for Texas A&M. They're on their feet. 5,200 strong. It's going to be a base hit in the left center field and Texas stays alive. What a great job of hitting by David Tollison. And oh my, sit back and look at what's getting ready to happen. The leading RBI man in the nation is striding to the plate. Look at this swing again by Tollison. A big sweeping curveball. He reaches out and just gets his bat on it. And the Longhorns stay alive in the bottom of the ninth. Bill Warrell, there's been a big debate this season among the media covering Texas as to whether Scott Bryant is the best clutch hitter in Texas history. A lot of people talk about a friend of yours and mine, Keith Moreland. He has a chance here to prove right now who's right. He laid off the curveball. He had a notion. The thing that impresses me about Bryant is he is a very patient hitter. So Centala will have to pitch to him. Bryant with 104 RBIs this year, 18 home runs. He doesn't have to get all of it to hit it out of here. A two-run homer, of course, would win it for Texas. One out is all the Aggies need. Strike call, one and one. That's the way it should be. This is the way it should be. Coming right down to this. The Aggies best against the Longhorns best. Two outs. One and one the count. Drive into center field. Deep. Thompson. He's got it. The game is over. And the Aggies are the Southwest Conference Tournament Champions. Texas Aggies share the regular season championship with Arkansas, but the Southwest Conference Tournament Championship is theirs. The Aggies swept through the tournament undefeated, but not before some exciting moments coming down the stretch. It was the best reliever, Centala, going against the best hitter in the country, and the Aggies win the game 5-4. to four. We'll be back with more from Olsen Field in just a moment.
brother it didn't stay that way long. The Texas Longhorn scoring three runs in the first inning. The Aggies coming back to score two in the third and three in the fifth. To take the lead, six to th uh, five to three. The Longhorns got one in the eighth and had the winning run at the plate in the presence of big Scott Bryant, who flied out to Kirk Thompson for the third out, and the Aggies win the Southwest Conference postseason tournament. It's a happy Texas A&M squad, and Bill Little is standing by with the victorious manager. Mark, before the ball game, you and I talked about the fact that you'd like to see the day when fans could appreciate the Texas and Texas A&M series, and tonight's ball game, I think, was a tribute to the Southwest Conference. Well, I do, too. I think two good ball clubs come right down to the wire. It was a heck of a ball game. Some athletes went across the line, played under the pressure, and it was a good ball game. Mark, your ball club obviously has done it all at home, and I know you got to be proud of them. They're the number one team in the nation, and let's pay tribute to them. Well, I'm proud of these guys. They played hard, and uh, we play better at home. The fans really help us a bunch, so it makes a lot of fun. Big, big ball game for Scott Centale. He came in and got the job done for you, particularly there in the last inning. Oh, tremendous job. You know, he, he's a reliever, and he's our short reliever and our fireman, and he did a great job tonight and answered the call. You talked about Jim Newman, and he's the guy that hit the home run that tied it. The, the senior leadership is really important to this team. Well, it is. We've got a bunch of veterans, and uh, we're going to miss a bunch of veterans next year, but uh, they've really answered the call and come under the pressure, and Jim Newman stepped forward, didn't have a great day yesterday, and got us a big home run today. And now a step forward. Let's go to the regional. Well, I'm rooting for all of our Southwest Conference teams. I hope they all do well. And this one here in College Station at the Central Regional, uh, any idea of who's coming? No idea at all. Good luck, Coach. Thank you, Bill. Bill? They're going with the presentation now of the trophy, and you heard the comments of Mark Johnson. All right, thank you so much, Bill Little, and the Texas Aggies. There hasn't been anybody leave. <laughs> They're enjoying this and taking in the moment. The Southwest Conference would like to pass along the Southwest Conference uh, down on the field, and we'll present the awards to the winners. Well, the last time the Southwest Conference Tournament was held in College Station, the Aggies won that abbreviated version of that tourney. And without getting into the messy details, rain was a problem that year, and Texas and Arkansas left the tournament after the first round. A&M beat Baylor twice to win the tournament title. The 1989 Southwest Conference Tournament Trophy to Coach Mark Johnson and the Texas Aggies. But Bill Little, I think that... It has been an A&M and Texas affair. Arkansas got into the regular season championship race this year, but as usual, it comes down to A&M and Texas. It does, and it did. In this tournament tonight, I think, uh, as Mark Johnson said, it really is a, a great tribute to the Southwest Conference. Uh, you see the team that is ranked number one in the Aggies, the Texas Longhorns ranked number 10, and. Bill, I think tonight proved that uh, these teams, if they can take care of their regional business, uh, could well meet again in the College World Series. Well, you know, A&M has missed only three Southwest Conference tournaments, 81, 83, and 85, since the tournament started in 1977. And, you know, Mark said he has a lot of rebuilding to do, and uh, it's going to be a tough road to hoe, but I don't think A&M's worried about next year, Bill. I think they'd like to win it all. get in and... Just hope it'll all go well, but we thank all of you. We look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Well, next Thursday means the regional right here. Bill Little, thank you so much. You'll have a regional starting Friday in Austin, and the regional will be starting here at Texas A&M on Thursday. Thank you, Bill. And uh, uh, to echo the words of Mark Johnson, I know that all of us in the Southwest Conference are, are pulling for the teams as they go in. The executive producer of Home Sports Entertainment is Jack Stanfield. Tonight's game has been produced by Murphy Brown and directed by Mike and us to see you. The technical director is Bill Roberts and the engineer in charge, Wayne Pacino. Congratulations.
Texas A&M, the 1989 Southwest Conference Baseball Tournament Champions once again. Today's final, A&M 5 and Texas 4. For Bill Little and all of us at HSE, I'm Bill Worrell saying so long from Olsen Field in College Station, Texas. The 1989 Southwest Conference Baseball season has been the proud presentation of Home Sports Entertainment. <laughs>